Vayikra or Leviticus 1 through 4. And Yahweh called to Moshe and spoke to him from the tent of appointment, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and say to them, When any one of you brings an offering to Yahweh, you bring your offering of the livestock, of the herd, or of the flock. If his offering is an ascending offering of the herd, let him bring a male, a perfect one. Let him bring it at the door of the tent of appointment for his acceptance before Yahweh. And he shall lay his hand on the head of the ascending offering, and it shall be accepted on his behalf to make atonement for him. And he shall slay the bull before Yahweh and the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall bring the blood and sprinkle the blood all around on the slaughter place, which is at the tent of appointment. And he shall skin the ascending offering and cut it into its pieces. And the sons of Aaron the priest shall put fire on the slaughter place and lay the wood in order on the fire. And the sons of Aaron the priests shall arrange the pieces with the head and the fat on the wood which is on the fire on the slaughter place. But its entrails and its legs he washes with water. And the priest shall burn all of it on the slaughter place as an ascending offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And if his offering is from the flock, from the sheep, or from the goats as an ascending offering, let him bring a male, a perfect one, and he shall slay it on the north side of the slaughter place before Yahweh and the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall sprinkle its blood on the slaughter place all around. And he shall cut into its pieces with its head and its fat, and the priest shall arrange them on the wood, which is on the fire on the slaughter place. But the entrails and the legs he washes with water. And the priest shall bring it all and burn it on the slaughter place. It is an ascending offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And if the ascending offering of his offering to Yahweh is of birds, then he shall bring his offering of turtle doves or young pigeons. And the priest shall bring it to the slaughter place and shall wring off its head and burn it on the slaughter place, and its blood shall be drained out at the side of the slaughter place. And he shall remove its crop with its feathers and throw it beside the slaughter place on the east side into the place for ashes. And he shall split it at its wings, but not sever it. And the priest shall burn it on the slaughter place on the wood that is on the fire. It is an ascending offering, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. Chapter two. And when anyone brings a grain offering to Yahweh, his offering is to be a fine flour, and he shall pour oil on it and put frankincense on it. And he shall bring it to the sons of Aaron, the priests, and he shall take from it his hand filled with fine flour and oil with all the frankincense. And the priest shall burn it as a remembrance portion on the slaughter place, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And the rest of the grain offering is for Aaron and his sons, most set apart of the offerings to Yahweh by fire. And when you bring as an offering a grain offering baked in the oven, it is of unleavened cakes of fine flour mixed with oil or unleavened thin cakes anointed with oil. But if your offering is a grain offering on the griddle, it is of fine flour unleavened mixed with oil. Divide it into bits and pour oil on it it is a grain offering. And if your offering is a grain offering in a stewing pot, it is made of fine flour with oil. 
and you shall bring to Yahweh the grain offering that is made of these, and shall present it to the priest, and he shall bring it to the slaughter place. And the priest shall take from the grain offering a remembrance portion, and burn it on the slaughter place, an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance, to Yahweh. And the rest of the grain offering is for Aaron and his sons, most set apart of the offerings to Yahweh, made by fire. No grain offering which you bring to Yahweh is made with leaven, for you do not burn any leaven or any honey in an offering to Yahweh made by fire. Bring them to Yahweh as an offering of first fruits, but they are not burned on the slaughter place for a sweet fragrance. And season with salt every offering of your grain offering, and do not allow the salt of the covenant of your Elohim to be lacking from your grain offering. With all your offerings, you bring salt. And if you bring a grain offering of your first fruits to Yahovah, bring for the grain offering of your first fruits green heads of grain roasted on the fire, crushed heads of new grain, and you shall put oil on it and lay frankincense on it. It is a grain offering. And the priest shall burn the remembrance portion from its crushed grain and from its oil with all the frankincense, an offering made by fire to Yahovah. Chapter 3. And if that which he presents is a slaughtering of peace offerings, if he is bringing it of the herd, whether male or female, he brings a perfect one before Yahovah, and he shall lay his hand on the head of the offering and slay it at the door of the tent of appointment, and the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall sprinkle the blood on the slaughter place all around. And from the slaughtering of peace offerings, he shall bring a fire offering to Yahovah, the fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that's on the entrails and the two kidneys and the fat that is on them by the loins and the appendage on the liver, which he removes with the kidneys. And the sons of Aaron shall burn it on the slaughter place upon the ascending offering, which is on the wood, which is on the fire, as an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And if that which he presents is from the flock for a slaughtering of peace offerings to Yahovah, male or female, he brings a perfect one. If he is bringing a lamb as his offering, then he shall bring it before Yahovah and shall lay his hand on the head of the offering and slay it in front of the tent of appointment. Then the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle its blood on the slaughter place round about. And from the slaughtering of peace offerings, he shall bring near as a fire offering to Yahovah its fat, all the fat tail which he removes close to the backbone, and the fat which covers the entrails, and all the fat that's on the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that's on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver, which he removes with the kidneys. And the priest shall burn them on the slaughter place as food, an offering made by fire to Yahovah. And if his offering is a goat, then he shall bring it before Yahovah, and shall lay his hand on its head and slay it before the tent of appointment, and the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle its blood on the slaughter place all around. And from it he shall bring his offering as an offering made by fire to Yahovah. The fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that is on the entrails and the two kidneys and the fat that's on them by the loins and the appendage on the liver which he removes with the kidneys. And the priest shall burn them on the slaughter place as food, an offering made by fire for a sweet fragrance, 
all the fat belongs to Yahava. An everlasting law throughout your generations, in all your dwellings, you do not eat any fat or any blood. Chapter 4 And Yahavah spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, When a being sins by mistake against any of the commands of Yahavah, which are not to be done, and shall do any of them, if the anointed priest sins, bringing guilt on the people, then he shall bring to Yahavah for his sin, which he has sinned, a young bull, a perfect one, as a sin offering. And he shall bring the bull to the door of the tent of appointment before Yahavah, and shall lay his hand on the bull's head, and slay the bull before Yahavah. And the anointed priest shall take some of the bull's blood and bring it to the tent of appointment. And the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before Yahavah in front of the veil of the set-apart place. And the priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the slaughter place of the sweet incense before Yahavah, which is in the tent of appointment, and pour all the blood of the bull at the base of the slaughter place of the ascending offering which is at the door of the tent of appointment. Then he takes all the fat of the bull as the sin offering, and the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat which is on the entrails, and the two kidneys, and the fat that's on them by the loins, and the appendage on the liver, which he removes with the kidneys, as it was taken from the bull of the slaughtering of the peace offerings. And the priest shall burn them on the slaughter place of the ascending offering. But the skin of the bull and all its flesh with its head and legs and entrails and dung, all of the bull, he shall bring outside the camp to a clean place where the ashes are poured out and burn it onward with fire. Where the ashes are poured out, that's where it's burned. And if the entire congregation of Israel strays by mistake, and the matter has been hidden from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done against any of the commands of Yahovah, which are not to be done, and shall be guilty. When the sin which they have sinned becomes known, then the assembly shall bring a young bull for the sin and bring it before the tent of appointment. And the elders of the congregation shall lay their hands on the head of the bull before Yahovah, and the bull shall be slain before Yahovah, and the anointed priest shall bring some of the bull's blood to the tent of appointment, and the priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle it seven times before Yahovah in front of the veil, and put some of the blood on the horns of the slaughter place, which is before Yahovah which is in the tent of appointment, and pour all the blood at the base of the slaughter place of ascending offering, which is at the door of the tent of appointment. Then he takes all the fat from it and shall burn it on the slaughter place, and he shall do with the bull as he did with the bull as a sin offering. So shall he do it. And the priest shall make atonement for them, and it shall be forgiven them. And he shall bring the bull outside the camp and burn it as he burned the first bull. It is a sin offering for the assembly. When a ruler sins and by mistake has done against any of the commands of Yahovah, his Elohim, which are not to be done, and shall be guilty, or if his sin, which he has sinned, is made known to him, then he shall bring as his offering a buck of the goats, a male, a perfect one, and he shall lay his hand on the head of the goat and slay it at the place where they slay the ascending offering before Yahovah. It is a sin offering. And the priest 
shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and shall put it on the horns of the slaughter place of the ascending offering and pour its blood at the base of the slaughter place of ascending offering and burn all its fat on the slaughter place just like the flat the fat of the slaughtering of the peace offerings and the priest shall make atonement for his sin and it shall be forgiven him and if any being of the people of the land sins by mistake and doing against any of the commands of Yahweh, which are not to be done and shall be guilty or if his sin which he has sinned shall be made known to him then he shall bring his offering a female goat a perfect one for his sin which he has sinned and he shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering and slay the sin offering at the place of ascending offering and the priest shall take some of its blood with his finger and shall put it on the horns of the slaughter place of ascending offering and pour all the blood at the base of the slaughter place then remove all its fat as fat is removed from the slaughtering of the peace offerings and the priest shall burn it on the slaughter place for a sweet fragrance to Yahweh. And the priest shall make atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. And if he brings a lamb as his sin offering, he brings a female, a perfect one. And he shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering and slay it as a sin offering at the place where they slay the ascending offering. And the priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger and shall put it on the horns of the slaughter place of ascending offering and pour all the blood at the base of the slaughter place. Then he removes all its fat as the fat of the lamb is removed from the slaughtering of the peace offerings and the priest shall burn it on the slaughter place according to the fire offering of Yahweh. So the priest shall make atonement for his sin that he has sinned, and it shall be forgiven him.